As I've just shown, entity resolution that is dynamic, scalable, and accurate is incredibly valuable for your organization. But this is only one step in a broader set of processes that allow you to make more accurate decisions. And the first and most obvious step is getting data into the entity resolution engine itself. So what other vendors do in order to attempt to solve this problem is they provide you with a fixed schema which you need to map all of your data into in order to get the entity resolution to work. And that looks a bit like this. Now the complexity with these lines that I'm drawing is these are actually large processes, large ETL data transformation processes that can take months or even years to actually achieve in practice. So what Quantexa does is take a different approach to this problem. We have what's called a schemaless architecture. We remove that requirement to conform all of your data into a vendor specific schema and we allow you to deploy all of your data into the engine automatically. What the system does is it analyzes the structure and the contents of the information within those upstream data sources and allows them to be ingested automatically. Ultimately, this allows you to get the system up and running in days or weeks rather than months or years. So coming out of entity resolution, we've now unified all the data and connected it together. And ultimately what this produces is what you might know of as a graph. So these graphs have all of the entities that have been produced from entity resolution connected together. But what we typically find in real world data is these graphs all connect everyone together. You may have heard of the six degrees of separation principle or the six degrees of Kevin Bacon, as sometimes people call it, where ultimately everyone connects to everyone via pretty uninteresting links. So what we do is we break these graphs up into meaningful networks. So what is a network? A network, rather than being everyone connected together, is the communities, the subgraphs within the data. For example, Jamie Hutton's network, Quantexa Limited's network. We remove all those spurious and uninteresting connections and we end up with entities connected together who really do know each other. And that is critical for analytical decision making. So having done entity resolution and network generation, what we do is we call this context. This is better context for making analytical decisions. And ultimately we take that context, the view of who is your customer, who do they connect to, and we feed that in to the next step in the process, which is the analytics. This allows the analytics to make a much more accurate and informed decision because it has a complete understanding of who your customers are and who they connect to via this context. And ultimately, this allows you to make better operational or analytical decisions. However, remember what I said earlier about dynamic entity resolution and the importance of being able to serve different views of the entities up to different use cases? Well, that applies across this entire process that we're looking at here. Ultimately, different use cases will demand different views of the entity resolution, different views of the graph, different views of the networks, and obviously different analytical models for finding whether it be bad guys, good guys, or anything in between. So you can't have in a traditional world a single view across all of this data to solve all your different use cases. But with Quantexa, we can serve up views of the entities, the networks, and the analytics that are specific to each business use case. And this allows us to have one instance of the platform one instance of Quantexa that can service all of the different business use cases that you will have across your enterprise without the need to replicate data and replicate environments. Ultimately, this reduces your total cost of ownership for the system because you're able to leverage your investment for multiple business use cases.